I have a secret weapon that I want to share with you on how I stay energized in the middle of the day, get a little pick-me-up without coffee, without a mixed drink. So let's talk about it. Stick around. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Emery. Thank you so much for being here and uh, welcome to Better Backpacking. That's what this channel is all about. That's why I built Byland in the first place. Today, we are talking about how to kind of give yourself a little pick me up in the middle of the day when you're feeling kind of sluggish, maybe afternoon, midday hunt, that kind of a thing. And a lot of times I'm not really in the mood to make coffee. I'm not in the mood to make some sort of beverage of any kind. I just want quick fast energy that's not gummy worms. I want some caffeine, that's what I want. I didn't know about this product, Viter Energy Mints, until they reached out to me and said, hey, do you wanna try these mints? Give them a shot, let us know what you think. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Before I begin, I don't really like trying things out, just like one and done type of thing. I like to kind of put it through its paces. And I know this is a simple energy mint. It's a caffeinated breath mint. That's all this thing is. And I know that sounds really simple on the surface, but I didn't want to like sit at my desk and pop a mint and be like, oh, okay. Oh, that tastes pretty good. Cool. Oh, I have some energy. No, I wanted to put it in the field. I wanted to use it in the field, how I would use it when I'm like really feeling sluggish. So that's what I did. I have three examples to tell you of that I used it and it really, really worked out well. The first time is I do this annual trip around Mount St. Helens and it's like 30 miles or so and there's always gonna be a time when in the middle of the day, I'm like, I need some energy. So I was about 12 miles in and I had a buddy with me and I was like, hey, do you wanna try one of these mints with me? And he's like, yeah, sure, why not? We decided to pop two of them and like by the time these things were dissolved in our mouths, I was feeling great, like I really had a lot of energy. It was not like this crazy boost of energy, it was just, oh, okay, cool, I'm feeling good again. We ended up popping like one or two more mints just as we went, just to kind of keep going. And we didn't want to stop and make coffee, we didn't have any mixes on us. The weather was really, really bad, and so we were just like, ah, just pop a mint, keep going, let's get this day over with. The second time was this hike that Exo Mountain Gear invited me on, called the Death Hike. If you're a hunter, you probably know about this. Um, but it's basically a, a hike that they do every single year to kind of prepare you for the upcoming season so that this hike's going to be something that is going to challenge you physically and mentally so that the rest of the season is really easy. Long story short, we had to hike a minimum of 20 miles in and on the way out um, there was these little challenges along the way and the last challenge was you have to add 40 pounds of weight to your pack. So this ended up being 40 pounds of rocks that we added to, added to our packs for a minimum height out of like 17 miles. My pack weight ended up being like 70 to 71 pounds, something like that. We had fish scales, yes, with us. It was a whole, it was a whole thing. I wasn't feeling my complete best and I brought these guys with me and for 17 miles, I just popped one at a time and when one kind of dissolved, I put the other one in and between that and like gummy bears, I felt really, really good, believe it or not, like really good to the point where like that 17 miles with 70 pounds on my back out of the Frank Church wilderness really wasn't too bad. Third example, it's hunting season. Again, it was another situation where I'm like, I don't want to make coffee. I'm hunting. It's really quiet. I don't want to fire up a stove. I don't have a mix on me because I'm just, it's annoying to have mixes. So I popped one of these mints just to kind of see if I would feel any difference. And again, it was a slight pick me up that was noticeable, but it wasn't like, eh, like I wasn't getting like tingly caffeine. And not only that, but I could control the amount of caffeine that was going in my body. Whatever's in these guys, like I was just going like mint for mint. They're not a pill, you don't swallow them. You just put them in your mouth, it's a breath mint, and they dissolve and you get a little boost of energy. When it's done, you don't get a crash, nothing like that. Like literally, it kind of eases you in and eases you out. It's a pretty great way to get some caffeine in your body quickly when you need it. So it's actually become a staple in my pack. Yes, they sent me the mints, but no, they didn't say, hey, you need to say this, you need to say that. They just said, try it out. And I have three really great examples of how these mints really helped me out. The whole premise of this is to, to increase your experience in the backcountry, feeling like you don't have any energy. That's terrible. You wanna have energy in the field. It's gonna make your experience so much better. And if a little breath mint, caffeinated breath mint can make your 
a time in the field better when you're pushing your body to the limits. Even if you're not pushing your body to the limits, if you're just feeling sluggish from being tired or whatever it might be, and you don't wanna make coffee, a simple breath mint. Here's what I like about them. They're quick and easy. They're, they don't make any more trash than what you already have. So you're not ripping op a pa open a package and dealing with that. You just have a little tin that you're dealing with. You pop it open, you grab the mint, you pop it in, and you're done. There's no trash, there's no mess, they're small, they're inexpensive, they, they, they taste really good, there's no weird aftertaste, and there's no crash. I think that's it. If you like this video, let me know. If you have any questions, leave me some comments below. I have a podcast, I have a website, all the links are below. If you're headed out for an adventure, either today or tomorrow in the future, be safe, make great decisions, and we'll see you next time.